What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about Ibex. Ibex is a great company as far as making clothing and this is their indie hoodie top. And this is actually really cool, you know, kind of like a next to skin uh, or if you want to wear like a really light um, base layer, you can use this with it as well. Ibex is made in the USA. That being said, I'm not sure why this says made in Canada, but it does. Not exactly sure why. But their stuff's made in the USA. And the fact of the matter is, they stand behind it with their warranty, which is if you have any defects in this material, the lifetime of the, uh, the garment, you go ahead and send it back and they will replace it free of charge. So let's get down to looking at it here. You know, I've used this price since around January is when I got this. And I've been using it since then, you know, in different kind of environments. And I've really come to like it. Some of the key points here with it and uh, what I'm going to talk about is the fact that it's made out of wool. So wool inherently has, you know, low odor to no odor when it comes to, uh, you know, your natural odor making ability as a human. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it keeps you warm. Uh, and when it's wet, it does retain um, much more heat uh, as far as, you know, warmth that you are generating compared to other uh, materials that are on the market. So when you look here, one of the cool things I like about this is it has thumb holes. Uh, so when you actually put your, your hand in here, you put your thumb through here and you can uh, you know, put this as a uh, thumb hole. The cool thing about that is the fact that when you put your hand in here, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that, when you put your finger in here, it's not an overly aggressive as far as you know, using a lot. Uh, you're gonna bump the camera like a professional. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't, it's not a lot as far as the seam is here. You know, it's not heavy. It's just a nice, you know, ability to put this on. What I like to do is actually, you know, use this uh, thumb hole and throw over my possum wool uh, gloves. And that's definitely uh, a way to keep everything warm, you know, all the way up through my hand. And that's how I usually use it. When we come down to the hood here, it's definitely kind of a, uh, a fitted hood. It's not a huge hood, so you're not going to get, you know, if you have like a, if you have a hat on, it's definitely going to cover that up, but it's not an overly aggressive hood as far as, far as being huge. Um, and this whole thing itself is definitely sort of an athletic cut. So I'm six foot, 205 pounds, and uh, this is an extra large. So you can kind of get a, an idea there that this is a little bit loose fitting. I could definitely go for um, a large, but this is an extra large. It fits well, but I could definitely go for a large as far as getting something a little bit closer to the skin. You can see here, this does have a YKK zipper, as you can see there. You know, if you're gonna spend uh, $100 on a hoodie that's gonna last your lifetime, you definitely want a YKK zipper. They're the best zippers on the market. It zips up nice, I never had any problems there. You can see all the flat lock, uh, flat seams here that go across every piece of this garment. This is just a beautifully made uh, garment. It's definitely one that always follows me when I have it inside of my bag. Now, I probably wash this probably around five times now, five, six, seven times, somewhere around there. And uh, it's held up well. I don't dry my stuff, so I can't tell, I can't talk to if it shrinks or not. You know, I wash my stuff. I let it air dry um, as much as I can. Um, so. I can't really talk to you if it's gonna, you know, <laughs> go ahead and uh, shrink on you. But you know, as far as washing it, you can see there's nothing, there's no, there's no pilling or anything like that um, with uh, the material. The material's not coming apart anywhere. The seams are still intact very well. There's nothing going on with them at all. Um, so you can definitely see that this garment is going to last uh, for a very long time, which was my expectation based upon the price. <laughs> you look at the back here; it has the Ibex um, logo right there. And you can see that this is actually cut to contour to the body. So it's a very, you know, uh, very easily as far as like going out and backpacking, you know, if you're looking for something that's going to be active, if you're looking for something that's going to, you know, give you the movement and not restrict you on what you're looking to do, you know, Ibex makes their stuff to, uh, to fit that. And you can kind of see in the way they have these cuts um, and the way they kind of put the seams together that they, they build their stuff so that you, ha you have movement. So when you're going on backpacking trips, etc., you know, you don't have restrictions in movement. And uh, that's one thing I definitely noticed with this over the last, you know, five months. What this is made of is merino wool. And specifically, it's 18.5 micron uh, merino wool. So like I was saying earlier about wool, you know, some of the other stuff it does is, you know, insulates, work, uh, wicks away moisture, and resists odor naturally. That's just the natural ability of what wool is. And the one thing I did notice with this is it is not irritating. So, you know, if you're spending $100 on this, you definitely are not gonna get something that you're gonna be like, oh, it's kind of irritating my skin, etc. No, I mean, this is just a really soft, uh, really, you know, it's very nice to kind of take out of the backpack. Um, you know, people who do backpacking know that you're not going to be going out there doing backpacking with a ton of stuff on usually as far as insulation stuff. When you're moving and you're on the go, uh, this is a great, uh, 
you know, uh, top layer, you know, put something light on underneath, put this on, and, you know, throughout most of the winter, you're gonna get away with that, you know, while you're actually hiking. So, I definitely like this a lot. I like the way it's cut. I like the way it feels, you know, it packs up relatively small, and, uh, you know, everything's just done exquisitely. The one thing I like to see them do is add sort of like a coyote color. Um, I definitely could see like a coyote color with a, uh, you know, sort of like a brown uh, seam to it. I think that would definitely be a cool look for uh, the tactical guys like myself. This is kind of more like a chocolate brown. Definitely works, but I think like a tan, you know, kind of actually like this, uh, the light tan in this uh, Shema in the background. I definitely think if they made one that was that color, it'd definitely be a hot seller, uh, especially to all the tactical guys like myself. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you guys have Ibex clothing, uh, which I'm definitely gonna get more into now after you know using this one throughout the, uh, the last few months, uh, put it down in the comments, or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. No. Go.